I just need a rant. I just need to get this off my chest because this is atrocious, man. Like, seriously. Now, this is no way a a Rafa out campaign by any stretch of imagination, but things need to be questioned. If you see me on what I said on Twitter, some of his decisions are questionable. Start on 11, the 11 after 60 minutes, the 11 after 90 minutes needs to be questioned because he's not above it. Let's face it, he's a man, lives, breathes, has blood running through his veins like us. So again, he's not a god. We do worship him, as I worship him as much as the next guy. But again, some of his decisions now are coming to the forefront and we're losing games and we're getting closer and closer to that relegation zone. We now stand, what, well, basically 16th place, I think, 15 game or 15 points taken out of 16 games or whether it's the other way around or not we haven't won in seven games so that's saying stuff and now we've got Everton and Arsenal coming up in the next two games that is a lot that is a lot to take on board right now but getting into this game anyway so I'm looking at start 11 now I've got it in front of me Darlow in goal I love Darlow as next as much as the next man but now Watching back some of the mistakes that he's made, especially probably the first goal, Mara's goal was a worldie. Uh, I've got to say it, but the Mari Gray effort, again, that's defensively bad. And then the third one, oh my God, woeful. I mean, I don't even know if Elliot should have been taken out of goal or not. Looking back at that, looking back at it now. And everyone knows that I'm a, a huge Darlo fan, but I don't know, man. You've got to make the call on that one, Rafa. I mean... Both of them have their faults, both of them have their strengths, but I don't know where that one. Yedlin, again, caught out defensively. Again, we've got to play him to his strengths, and that's going forward. I'm still not even seeing that. He's got rapid pace, but at the same time, we're not using it. And again, defensively, he's getting caught out. Lejeune, oh my God. Uh, he was quoting these guys like the next pile of Maldini at the start of the season, but now he's getting caught out left, right, and centre. I don't know what's going on, and he needs... In fact, both of them... Lejeune and Clark needs the cells alongside him. If it's not just athletically, because again, he can get around a lot more mobile than both of those two probably can put together. But in terms of leadership as well, the cells is needed. And I'm surprised he didn't go into this game. I don't care if he's coming straight back off injury. He would have looked a, 10 times a lot better alongside one of them two. That's for sure. Mankio, what really sums up Mankio is, do you remember that moment when he got close to the area had a little dribble in the penalty area and fluffed his lines. That just su sums up Mankiw at the moment. Richie, going on to Richie, as much as a, of a workhorse and I appreciate him and most two fans appreciate his performances, he's just not at the races at the moment. He's just not there. I think he's been played in week in, week out. I think he needs resting. And we've got more than enough wingers to go around to replace him. And that's who come on just proves it. I mean, he already had an impact. I'm, I'm sure he had a, something to do with the second goal. I think he might have set it up directly or played some part. So again, rest him. Rest him. Hayden and Marino in the middle of the park. Again, we need to find a way of putting Shelby in there. Because without Shelby in there alongside one of them two, we just look non-existent. Marino's touches were woeful sometimes. Hayden, he's not the most creative of players. But again, he does a job in there. But he needs Shelby in there to mix it up. And I'm surprised, getting on to the next one, I'm surprised that he didn't come on ahead of this man, Perez. I don't know what allegiance, well, I can kind of see the allegiance, it's the, it's the Spanish players. And I don't want to shout out favouritism, but sometimes it looks like that. Why is Rafa showing favouritism to the Spanish players over well, other better players, let's face it? Because Perez comes on, doesn't offer anything apart from going forward. When he gets to a decision-making moment, he fluffs his lines and, and loses the ball, gets barged off the ball. And again, defensively, he's not he's ineffective and it goes to show because, again, he concedes the, the final goal. And yes, it comes off him and you can blame the whole defence. I still do blame the whole defence because the ball could have been cut out and, you know, he shouldn't have got that far. But still, going forward, is that's where you, you want your number 10 to be most prominent and he's not that. Shelby needs to be coming on ahead of him. So, I don't know, Murphy, again, had a decent game. But obviously came off after 70 minutes. This one's the baffler now. I'm happy for Hoslu to, to get off the mark now. He knows where the back of the net is finally. And I know we got signed a £5 million player and that's what you get for a £5 million player. But you bring on Mitrovic in the 88th minute, it's telling me. 88th minute. Now there's five minutes played of extra time. That brings a total of seven minutes. Seven minutes for Mitrovic to make an impact. What sort of player can make an impact apart from Pele or Messi? Seriously. Now, 
Gale, thank God, back amongst the goals again. That's his third goal. I believe they're his joint top goal scorer now. And people are doubting Dwight Gale and saying he can't do it. Goal against Chelsea, Premier League champions. Goal against Leicester, previous Premier League champions. And goal against Manchester United. We all know their history about being Premier League champions. But can't cut it in the Premier League. Stop it. Stop it. Now, I'm not even going to get onto the goals because... I've only seen him once, but again, Damari Gray's effort was a worldie or well, decent. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. He took a deflection. Mara's goal was a worldie. And then the third one, well, Perez scored that own goal. Do I need to say any more? You've seen my Twitter reactions. You've seen what I think about Perez. <sighs> so, yeah, as I said, sitting in, what, 16th place, we might be going down. Let's face it. Let's face this facts because... Rafa seems to be a bit stubborn sometimes. He doesn't make the right decisions at the right time. And we need to get out of this slump ASAP. So, bring on Everton, who've just got a new manager, by the way. Oh, it was an ex-Newcastle United manager. Shock. Let's see how we go on from there. Let me know your thoughts in the conversation below.